Hello everyone, Daphne here with another video for you. This one is titled, The Small Wonders in Africa. I can tell you in no uncertain terms that even though most people, just like me, go to Africa to see those big animals, elephants, giraffes, lions, I was amazed at all the small wonders I saw on the plains of Africa. This first image is of a bird that actually has a name. His name is Ivan. And the reason he has a name is because every morning, or most mornings, he comes to Sarari Safari Camp in northern Kenya to wow the visitors who are about to have breakfast. Here is my friend David Bromham of Abercrombie and Kent, our safari guide, holding Ivan as he visited us before we started to eat one morning. And I just thought it was so amazing that Ivan would come back to this safari lodge year after year. And it was always a thrill when he showed up. Now here is another beauty, another incredibly special creation of Mother Nature, in my opinion. This is a little tiny flower. It can't be more than an inch or so high out in the wilderness of the plains of Africa, just sitting there in all its glory and beauty for someone like me to come along and take a picture because I thought this was such a special little gem of a flower with its bright colored fuchsia plume and its little yellow body. Oh, I mean, I have never seen anything like this before. And I was so glad that we came across it. Here's another beautiful African flower. This is an African lily. And it is particularly lovely with its really bright red color. And the rims of each leaf was such a pretty sort of yellowy chartreuse. But the whole design and the whole beauty of this flower was just an incredible sight to see. I can tell you one thing that really surprised me about Africa were all the incredibly beautiful birds. And here's just one example. Look at the incredibly lovely pastel colors. Oh, I'm so glad I captured this image and I love seeing it every time it comes up on my screen at home. Here's another little beauty of a bird. This little guy looks like he's got a slick back hairdo. And he's pondering his next move as I shot this picture of him. Isn't that the most precious little bird? Next we have a much bigger one. I like his orange beak and I found his wing very interesting because it was outlined completely in black. My goodness, Mother Nature had a lot of creative ideas when she designed these birds in Africa. Here's another pretty little one. Look at the pinkish color on the beak and the same color around his eyes. And not to be outdone, the same exact color on his legs or her legs. Here is a dragonfly I caught in flight. I was amazed that this picture wasn't completely blurry because those wings were flapping back and forth a mile a minute. But I'm really glad I captured that little creature in Africa. This is one of my favorite birds of all. It is the African bee eater. Look at its beautiful autumn colors. I don't know, there was something special about this little bird. He was tiny, absolutely tiny. And here he is just sitting up on top of a branch. And I was so glad to be able to capture this image. One of my favorite. This little black and white wonder has big black eyes and is just a beautiful little bird. I love the fact that he's got a black collar. And the other thing about him is look at his little feet here, 
just clutching the branch. Oh, adorable, absolutely precious. Now this looks like a partridge in a pear tree, but no tree. I like the fact that he has a black and white necklace on. Oh, I should say she has a black and white necklace on to match her black plume on the top of her face. And she has a very pretty yellow accent around her eye. I love the spotted pattern of her wings. Such an interesting looking bird, don't you think? Oh, how can I possibly describe in words what a special experience this was? This picture was taken at the Matea Safari Lodge in the Medikwe Reserve in South Africa, northern South Africa. One night after dinner, my husband and my, my husband, my son and I were walking back to our suite when we came across this precious, tiny moon moth lying in our path. I can tell you in no uncertain terms that we were mesmerized by this moon moth. We stood there for about 15 minutes looking at her beautiful green wings with the circular little beige and yellow colored patterns and the dew drops that were laying there and those long legs with the leafy looking feet. Oh, we were there is only one, one way to describe what we felt, and that was we were completely and totally mesmerized by this little thing. Only about an inch or two long, this was the only time on our entire trip that we ever got to see a moon moth. And were we glad we ever did. It was definitely a highlight of that South African safari, believe it or not. Another small wonder, another amazing creation of Mother Nature. Now we get to a bigger size. Here we have a, a little baby baboon riding off into the wilderness on the back of its mother. That seemed to be a favorite position. We saw that often during our safari. Was I lucky or what to be right here when that little baby baboon decided it was time to give his mother a great big hug. Oh, I just love the feeling I get when I look at the affectionate image here of this baby deciding it was time for one big hug. I guess the mama baboon deserved it in the baby's eyes just at that moment when we arrived. This is another bird that we spotted in Africa, and a monochromatic bird. Not that pretty to look at color-wise, but so interesting with its high plume and its intense look. I don't know. I thought he was very, very pretty in his own way. This bird distinguished itself because of its brightly colored accordion wing. Mother Nature had a lot of originality when she was designing these birds, if you ask me. Now this little yellow bird had no pattern on his body, but his wings were very interesting. And I love where this little bird lived. This is not an upside down picture. That is a bird about to enter his nest or her nest. Isn't that the most interesting looking creation of twigs and branches and hay you've ever seen? I can only imagine how long it took her to bring those branches and weeds or whatever they are back and make this interesting looking nest. Here's another one. I guess this one is a little newer because it's weeds and straw and whatever is making it up is all green and not straw colored like the other one. Not dried out, I guess, like the other one was. 
Now this bird was interesting to me because it has an orange beak. And look at these orange knuckles on her legs and to match orange colored feet. And she is about to take, about to take off for who knows where. Next is an owlet. This little bird we saw in northern Botswana in Chobe National Park. This owlet is only a couple of inches high. Obviously, you can't see that from this picture. Tiny in size, but just precious. My son and I were so happy when we got a glimpse of this tiny little owlet. Last but not least is this what I call a money shot. We were there right at the moment that this hawk dipped down in the water and grabbed this fish and took off, and my son captured this picture. We could not believe that we got that image just at the right moment. Isn't it amazing? Off he went, that hawk, with the fish in his hands for his late afternoon meal. So that brings me to the end of a few of the small wonders that I witnessed on the plains of Africa, Kenya, Tanzania, Zambia, Botswana, and South Africa. And there were many, many more. And I am so glad I can share this surprise with you that there remains all these magical small wonders on the continent of Africa.